Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this tutorial is about uh, an algorithm uh, for changing uh, money uh, or making a change for currency. Uh, it is uh, mainly about a greedy algorithm, so it's an arbitrary way for solving problems. Uh, first thing uh, you need to know about is that you have an amount of money, let's say integer amount equal uh, okay um, 56 and uh, let's say that you were given the specified amount of uh, money or currency let's say uh, we have uh, uh, the following currency 20 uh, 5 and 1 okay if you want to represent uh, 56 with the following with the minimum number of currency 25 1 you need a uh, um, 2 times 20 uh, plus 5 times 2 plus 1 times 1 so you need a uh, 220s uh, 5 or two fives and one one okay so this is uh, just a, a, an insight of how to c convert this to currency to that amount of currency so okay we have amount we have coin and we need another another variable which is number and number is just to give us uh, that 20 has 2, uh, have 2, and 5 have 2 times occurring, and 1 is just occurs one, uh, one time. So uh, this is just the basic variable, the basic uh, element that we need. After that, we need a one for loop. So we start from int i equal 0 i is less than um, coin the length okay i plus plus we open brackets okay and inside uh, inside uh, this for the loop uh, we need a other condition so in this condition we want to make sure we want to make sure that uh, the coin, the 20, okay, is less than the amount that we were given. So 20 is less than 50, 56, we continue. 5 is less than uh, this, we continue. So why? Because each time we want, um, each time the amount will be decreased. Okay. Um, so in other word, uh, let's demonstrate that we got here 56. So the first thing that we need to know is how many 20s that we need to uh, make 56. So it's easy. We just uh, calculate 56 over 20, which gives us 2. So the number inside the loop will be 2. And so we print out in the screen that we need two twenties. So we need to um, we after that we need to uh, uh, we need to reduce the amount by subtracting uh, forty, which is two twenties, uh, from the amount, the original amount. So the original amount is fifty six. So after subtracting uh, two twenties, we we got uh, uh, twenty six. Uh, or we got uh, 16 so this is the, the whole process is repeated until we uh, f we finished all the coins in the uh, you know in the array because we got uh, we got 25 until we finish all the coins we uh, finish the algorithm so uh, let's continue Okay, as I said, uh, we need a num, which is equal to amount, 
over cosine of i and notice that since number is an integer it will give you always an integer number but this doesn't make sense out of the if statement this should be inside the if statement and what is the condition here the condition is that um, coin should be less than amount okay so but coin uh, coin should be coin of i is less than or equal to amount okay amount okay we need to close the bracket here we go and uh, we bought we want to print uh, we want to print the number and the amount uh, the coin I'm sorry so but system the out the print line and uh, so we want to print mm, the number of coins and so we put number we give a space and and we want to print uh, that coin okay co coin what is going on coin of i and it's better to give um, if we want to add the dollar sign it's better to give it uh, a symbol so okay okay you can see there's a problem but um okay what is the problem okay there is additional okay um add sign so we remove it and we finish with that print line that's cool then we wanna uh as i said we wanna uh, uh subtract the the calculated amount from the original amount so but num times coin of i and here we go so after that we run the program okay but we before we run it uh, let's okay run the program click run and uh, you can see okay, you can see down there um, okay we have uh, two twenties three fives and one one <laughs> I have a okay this is a three should be three I'm sorry uh, this is a trivial mistake but anyway uh, this is the solution. You can change uh, this to be 45, or let's be uh, put it to be 44, and run the program. So, so uh, the, there is a change. You can put 100 to 1,244 and run this. So you got other stuff here. We got sixty-two twenties and four one dollar, four one dollars. So, this is just uh, an example of a greedy algorithm for uh, solving uh, the currency change, making currency, making a change for currency. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and thank you. See you next time in other tutorials about Java algorithm and also other stuff. Thank you.